Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's Leela here. And I'm here to talk about sleeping in a car. What about that? Have you ever slept in a car? <laughs> and I slept in a car because I didn't have enough money to pay for not sleeping in a car. I'm going to tell a story here in a minute. Hey, Natasha. Hey, Vanessa. Man, I'll tell you what, girlfriends. You guys are both success successful women on your way up rising. High five. Seriously. Nate. Oh, Nate is in the Midwest. Are you playing with chickens on your farm today, Nate? So I'm going to talk about two. I got a little, I'm going to show you the picture actually. On Facebook today, you know how you get the reminder? Yeah, I got the reminder. I got the reminder today about two years ago sleeping in a car and here I am today with clients all around the world speaking, you know, serving. Uh, I'm on a board. I mean, it's just on a six-figure business, you know, working on uh, growing and, and, and really grounding and building community here in Colorado and around the world. And I mean, I just can't believe what's happened in two years and I'm really stoked to be helping other people do the same but i'm going to show you these pictures because i look good i think i look good right you, you never know i was sleeping in a car right there i'm gonna tell you the story why in a second so there's hey randy so there i am okay i look good right look pretty look pretty all right look, look I'm, prof I'm professional i got a journal in my hand look at that i got a journal i must know what i'm doing i have a journal right <laughs> no clue no clue what i was doing all right so here's the deal. Two years ago, I was trying. I was trying really hard to have a business. Uh, chickens, dogs, cat, and all of them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Nate, for sharing. I love. I, I hope. I would love to come visit sometime if I'm invited. Awesome. Yeah, Jazz girl, you get it. I guarantee you got some story. We all, all of us that are, you know, hustling out there. Uh, I don't really feel like I'm hustling anymore. Honestly, I'm going slow to go fast. That's what I talked to my coach today, and I'm going to tell you this. The reason I was sleeping in a car. I was committed to my dream to be here right now really I'm, I'm living my dream life I, I'm, I just booked a retreat center for the fall November 8th through November 11th put it on your calendar friends it's gonna be so awesome uh, it's for just a certain kind of person so if you're you know a certain kind of person but I'll, I'll tell you more about it later uh, hey Sandra oh, Susan you guys get it girlfriends I would sleep I'm gonna show you this picture I look good but you wouldn't know it I was in Dallas I flew to Dallas got a rental car slept in my car uh, uh, showered at 24 hour fitness. I'm smart. I know how to do this game. I was like, I got to figure it out. I have got to figure this business thing out. I got invited to a mastermind meeting, a free mastermind meeting, high level people. I'm like, how can I do this? <laughs> I didn't have anything at the time. I was teaching yoga, making $3 and 50 cents a head, driving Uber, working, you know, going on Craigslist, trying to find jobs, little things on the side two years ago. It wasn't that long ago and my life is way different now um, I flew to Dallas and I was in this mastermind meeting and I I slept in my car and I came back and I took more action you know I kept going and kept going and kept going and still though I couldn't really it still took me another mm, six months I guess it would be to to be able to take off and that was when I hired a coach Right, a one on a, a business coach, somebody who could really see me energetically, somebody who could tell me what my body was doing so that I wouldn't do it anymore. Um, and then everything took off. But it took the great. I had a woman reach out to me the other day and say this If you're ever thinking about starting a business and you want two words, I think these are two words that work well tenacity. I had a woman message me and she said, Leela. And this was really a very big compliment because when you're doing things, producing, creating, offering, supporting, you don't always, there are people that say like, good job. You know, that's why I've got coaches because they say good job. It feels good. That's part of it. But um, this woman said, she goes, I've never seen anybody with so, many, with so much tenacity and grit. And that's what, you know, sometimes you got to, when you have a dream, when you have a dream that's beyond you, like you know inside of you, no matter what, you're committed to it, committed to it. Not you're intending to do it. You're committed to it no matter what. This is the kind of stuff you'll do. You go looking somewhere pretty with carrying a journal in your hand like you know something, even if you don't. You'll sleep in your car even if it, it sucks. You'll, 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 you know, that's my roommate. He's home in the video. Hey, but hey, Dan, you're in the video. Isn't that cute? Um, so, so yeah, you'll shower at the 24-hour fitness, right? You'll, 
You'll, you just do anything. I, my, here was my perspective. Here's the reason why I flew to Dallas. I thought, if I want to figure out how the hell to make money, I got to be around people making money. I don't know anybody, I don't know anybody making money. <laughs> so, I mean, how many of you guys have like wanted to like, you know, expand in some area of your life? Like, for instance, you want like a new love life, but you, you don't know anybody with a good love life right you want to be healthy but you don't know anybody in your life that's healthy right you want more money but you don't know anybody with no money you got to get around those people you got to fly to dallas you know looking like that's a pretty good outfit right that's a pretty good look that's a pretty good look i look like i got something going on no clue i was trying no clue sleeping in the car showering 24-hour fitness <laughs> hobnobbing with the rich people that's what i thought i was doing which i was um and i figured it out so i'm here to help you if you want some help Seriously, um, we're all worth a lot. You know, you're worth more than you're asking. Um, and your health from yourself, from others in relationship, and your bank account, all of that. I know you all know that already. Um, so I'm here to support you. Whatever you need in terms of if you want to step into owning your value this year, right? I've got, you can work, you know, I can work with you one-on-one. -on -one, I can work with you in a group. I've got a beautiful group program launching this year. Where we're really going to get into your body and up-level your whole freaking life because that's what I've done. It's all in the body, uh, breath, presence. And then you need to have some strategy, right? I teach all that strategy stuff around business too. It's never the strategy. It's always who are you being? What is your way of being? Are you committed? Like, are you committed? Seriously, what are you committed to? Are you committed to like doing, sleeping in the car to, to get your thing, whatever your thing is, your dream? My dream is to like help a lot of people be free and healthy and vibrant and energized and really connected to spiritual energy. Uh, be able to travel the world, be able to you know, go on a month to an Australian, uh, what do they call it when you go across Australia? I don't know, Africa, they call it safari. Please somebody tell me what they call it. So seriously, sometimes it takes digging deep. Sometimes it takes kind of looking like a fool. Here's what I'll tell you, this is the cool thing. I wasn't the only one doing it. I found out, I told somebody, I said, I trusted this guy I met, and he's from Colorado. I was like, I told him, I was like, hey, hey, I'm sleeping in my car. He goes, oh, me too. <laughs> so we, we had a really beautiful exchange about it because it was the same thing. It was like, no matter what, we're committed to our dreams and we're going to make it happen, even if it means sleeping in the car. So I want to ask you, what have you done? What have you done that's like, you know, you've done something that people are like, that's kind of crazy, right? Uh, you shouldn't be sleeping in your car in Dallas, Texas. Oh, um, that's just the half of it. I'll tell, I'll share more stories later what I've done. I've done all sorts of things. My girlfriend says, you don't do hard stuff. You just do a whole lot of stuff that doesn't work. And then you find a thing that works and you do it really well. I said, yes, that's exactly it. So what do you, girlfriend, I'm inspired by you. I want to hear you've done, every single one of you have done something. Share, you know, what have you done? You're like, I had to borrow, I had to borrow money from my brother. I had to borrow money from my brother. Do you know how hard that was? My little brother, who he's 11 years younger, I changed his diapers. I borrowed money from him to make my dreams happen. I paid a bag. That felt good. Real good. <laughs> so what have you done? What have you risked? What have you gone out on a limb for your commitment? You're, no matter what, you're, for your relationship, for your health, right? for your business, for your finances. What have you done? I'm just curious. I, I know you all have really good stories. So uh, Jer, Lisa, Tisha, I know you guys all have businesses. Every single one of you. Every single one of you, Carrie, mm, beautiful. I mean, every single you guys work hard and you and you you commit to things. So I'm, I asked this question, I think, earlier today or yesterday. is like, how do you stay committed? So this word commitment is something I'm writing right now. Can you tell? I can feel it's like three different things I've put out there. So let's just write it the rest of April. What are you committed to? I'm committed to getting more people uh, in a space like I'm in, to be honest. It's pretty good. It can always be better, right? We're always on the up and up. But to go from sleeping in my car, feeling like I knew nothing, to go to being like teaching other people how to build six-figure businesses, how, teaching other people how to be healthy and calm, that feels really good. Um, and so I want that for you, whatever your dream is. <laughs> and I, my next dream is uh, I'm going to buy a house in Colorado. I'm going to, you know, uh, grow even deeper roots here. And so if you're um, in Colorado, I'm not, you're not going to get rid of me. One of those natives, you're not going to get rid of me. The non-native is staying. <laughs> I got the plaid shirt today. You guys like my outfit today? I'm going to show you. It's really cute, actually. Look, it's a skirt. It's very, it's very Colorado-y. 
Um, it's a skirt. Look, look, little stockings, little skirt. Isn't that cute? I went out to, uh, I was taking a red eye makeup bus to Chicago, Susan said, to get weekly in life. Oh, exactly. Red. So this girl took, okay, so she gets on the bus. <laughs> Love it. She gets on the bus. She dies overnight, right? To get weekly life advancing seminars. I committed to while living in Kentucky. So she was going from Kentucky to Chicago. It takes some grit for sure. Wow, girl. I honor that. Oh, thank you for sharing. It's one thing when I tell my story. It's another thing when I feel what, what you've done. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, sometimes it's not easy, but you got it in you. And when you, if you need support, like, you know, Susan went to Chicago to get the support she, she needed. You know, now you have support online, which is pretty cool. You might need to go some go somewhere for support I'm doing a retreat like I said I'm so stoked I'm going to talk about it for like the next eight months just get if you get tired of it I'm sorry now I'm going to keep talking about it I'm so stoked <laughs> uh November 8th through 11th so uh same thing you know you got to get you got to sometimes you know do things in person sometimes you know doing things online but whatever it is like dig deep right dig deep friends get some tenacity get some grit stop with the intentions all right, make a commitment. See what that feels like. I'm, I'm working on it myself. That's why I'm sharing. It's the only reason I'm sharing. I just got off the, co the call with my business coach when we had this conversation. She's like, what are you intending to do? What are you committed to? And then I got this notification that I slept in my car two years ago because I was committed, right? And I'm recommitting to you and everybody out there um, to just play bigger, offer more, right? I love you all. I hope this was helpful, and I want to hear more stories. So if you're watching this later on the replay, thank you. I bless you, bless you, bless you. And if you want to still share stories, please do. It's, like, really entertaining. We're like, holy macaroni. I'll tell you what else I did. I Because uh, I used to have, uh, like, Jimmy Choo's and Christian Louboutin shoes and Prada, YSLs. I could go down the list. I wanted all of them. I had them all. Um, I sold all those for, to pay rent. I did whatever it took to get my life in the way I wanted it to, and here I am today, and I love it. So whatever you need, reach out to me or someone else, because we're here for you. The world's here for you. Dig deep, friends. Namaste. The light in me is growing brighter and brighter every day, and it honors the, lighter, the light in you, not the lighter, the light in you <laughs> that can grow brighter and brighter every day if you so choose it to. Blessings.